Hello everybody, Lunatic in a Box here. Um, I apologise, but this, this review isn't going to be as good as the, the first take. But it turns out the first take, I was basically shouting into the mic. And I'd forgotten that I'd boosted my microphone settings. So, it's terrible. Okay, so let me get some stuff out of the way first. Last week's review. Where is last week's review? I got a couple of messages. Uh, no, last week's review is not going to be put back up. I took it down because I thought it was terrible. And it got some dislikes and it's not I took it down not because of the dislikes because I understood where the dislikes were coming from and it was terrible. Okay. So on to the actual episode. I thought the episode was great. I realized that I'm going to have to put spoilers because they can't really talk about much should the ever actually I can but I'm not going to so consider yourselves warned there's some minor spoilers I won't I won't break up the big reveal at the end oh come on that's not a spoiler you knew there was going to be a big reveal at the end there always is in a season finale so the episode starts off with basically I, I don't know if my counter class is a spoiler. You know what? Consider yourselves warned, there's going to be spoilers. There will be spoilers. So, Danny hit Pink got hit by a car. And died. There you go. Yeah. Great way. You know, great, nice, happy way to start your episode. So, turns out that when you die, you don't actually die. You get sent to the nether sphere which I assumed was basically just a giant computer and turns out it is a giant computer it's just a piece basically a big cloud server floating around so people so this doctor discovered it and then went oh so now I've got to stop myself from dying so what was his um, approach to this? His approach to this was to basically preserve people in, uh, I believe it was called the dark water, which is essentially the body is surrounded in an exoskeleton that keeps them alive, not really alive, but keeps their body together. So yeah, after you realize this, you can see where this is going and if you saw the trailers last week at the end of that terrible episode you'll know that um, yeah it's Cybermen so that's not a spoiler what did I think of the Cybermen? I thought they were really good even if their walk is a little bit stupid now honestly I know you were going for the, the whole creepy robot thing but they look like those little wind up robots now it just seems silly but that's one of the few things that annoyed me about the episode I did like everything I liked the plot I liked the reveal I liked the um, the kind of the way the dark water which supposedly only shows organic matter kind of was uh, was a slow reveal for the Cybermen because it would it would the tank would drain down from the top so I thought that was good I thought that was really good but there's some things that I don't like. I like I don't like the fact that it made all the ca all the characters seem like absolute idiots. I mean, you'd think you're watching this video right now. Go on, look around behind you. Now I'm sure you've done that at least once in the last half hour you've been using the computer. Nope, no one does that. They all just stare at the computer screen, apparently, and then they don't look around. They don't notice the Cyberman appear, basically appearing in the tank 10 meters behind them. So, I wasn't too happy about that. That made everyone look stupid. But, apart from that, I thought it was pretty good. I really enjoyed the episode. The reveal at the end is spectacular the the um the reveal that all all the cybermen or the cybermen coming out of the mausoleum the shots are really good 
as a saying, the silly walk kind of ruins it, but it doesn't ruin it. Sorry, that's the wrong word. It's still very good. It doesn't ruin it. It, it sort of lessens, it dampens the effect. So, after I watch the episode, I'm pumped for next week. I can't wait. I legitimately just, like, I can't. I'm really annoyed because they cut it off basically straight in the middle. You know, kind of um, right in the action, where just when the Cybermen are starting their attack. And now I'm really, really kind of. I want to see more. I really want to see more. But I gotta wait a week, which kind of sucks. But uh, I'm guessing, yeah, watch the episode. If if you haven't watched the episode, what are you doing here? Go and watch it. And I thought it was great. I honestly thought it was great. The the plot was good. The monsters, they're Cybermen, so they're always good. Well, I don't like. I will mention now that I don't really like the modern Cybermen. And now I know that people who've watched my other reviews will know that I like David Tennant a lot, and that's my favorite Doctor. But and I like the David Tennant era Cybermen the most. But that is not the reason I don't like these Cybermen. The reason I don't like these Cybermen is one, they're too angular. They don't look that threatening. Now I know, I wonder, I, it, it kind of makes me think that they were trying to rip off Iron Man a tiny bit. Because if you look at the um, aesthetic style, it's it's very reminiscent of Iron Man and, and kind of that style of armor. Um, if you saw that episode back, way back, with like, um, where they were in the theme park. Yeah, the theme park, it was with Clara. The the Cybermen in that were ungodly overpowered. I mean, they could shift time. They could upgrade people. It went from using a mo- like a, an external machine they had to build to upgrade people to simply being, tap you on the neck, now you're a Cyberman. Duh, done. Now, I'm not saying that was a bad episode. I actually thought that was quite good. But... How do you fight something like that? It's so overpowered. <sighs> Honestly, go and watch the episode. I thought it was good. While you're watching it, do try and look for the subtle clues to it being the Cybermen because there is a lot of them. For instance, the logos. Look at the logos. Look at the W three. Look at the look at all of these things, and I picked up that it was Cybermen because I didn't watch the trailer until um, yesterday, and then I completely forgot that it was Cybermen. So I was going, "Ooh, what is this?" And then and then it hit me about I think like five or ten minutes into the episode. Oh, it's Cybermen, and I thought it was great. I I loved the. Um, I have a feeling that I've got to stop watching, you know, those little teasers for next week. I'm going to stop watching those because I find that if I watch those, I've already worked out half the um, half of what's going to happen by the start of the next episode. So I'm going to stop watching those. So from now on, there won't be a, an assess next week thing in these. What do I think of next week as the last one? I'm pumped. I want to see it. Uh, thanks for listening to my rambling. Um, if you'd like to hear my thoughts on next week's episode, please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when the video comes out. I assure you I will be doing a video. I do one of these every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.